Cuisine Show. I'm flying high every time I pay my rent. Cause life ain't easy when your money's spent. I told my babe we're staying home tonight, yeah. We're cooking love and that will make a gourmet chef so horny, yeah. Gourmet love, gourmet love, gourmet loving all night. 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 On this episode of Cousin. Chef Louis and Gustavo will explain to you how to make guacamole, salsa verde, salsa roja, and salsa bandera from a place called in Mexico. Ciao, Bella. This is Chef Louis, Gustavo here, and today we're going to show you how to make guacamole the right way. Yeah. So to make good guacamole, you need good aguacates. And in California, Southern California, we have the best avocados in the world. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. See, more homes. So we're scooping that shit. You know what I'm saying? Scooping those aguacates, putting them in a bowl. You don't want to use too much tomatoes and onions because you don't want to overpower the taste of the avocado. That's a little bit. It's a little bit. We have everything together now. We have our avocado, our tomatoes, our onions, and our cilantro. You don't want to use too much, again, like I said, you don't want to overpower it, especially the onions. Some people put too much onions, and you taste it, you're like, mmm. Tastes like your abuelita's tits. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, Chef Louis just cut up everything, put it in the bowl, and now he's going to add the spice, the sazon. Sazon. Our family uses seasoned celery salt. It gives it that Chef Louis family taste. Simon. Again, you don't want to over season, but then you don't want to under season either. I don't trust people to under season, eh? Yeah. Finish it off with some limon. Oh man, that looks good, man. Mm. Damn. So then we put it together. Mm. So you're kind of like just using a fork just to kind so of smash. That's a fork to smash, yeah. Just smash the avocado and then mix it in. That's it. Yeah. That's a, that's a nice trick right there. Bam. Yeah, Abuelita probably uses, I don't know, the bean smasher or something. Yeah. What are those called? Mm -hmm. Bean smasher? You know the bean smasher? Bean moledor de frijoles. So anyways, the point is, so he's, he's got it all mixed up. Do you need to add anything else, Luis, right there? Or? No, man. That's it. You got yourself some grade A guacamole. Nice. Cheers, cholos. When I eat guacamole, I like these Santitas chips. Because they're like got the right texture, not too thick, not too thin. They taste pretty good. Believe it or not, the Santita chips are actually pretty good. Yeah. That, and I know everyone's like, eh, que comer todo pose. Yeah, yeah. No. In my opinion, it's like too thick. They're yeah, pretty hard. Man. That's a muela, cabrón. Yeah, I know. It's like I don't have insurance, so I can't go to the dentist every time I eat chips, you know what I'm saying? I've never been to the dentist, doggies. That's a true story, I've never been in the fucking toilet. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. <laughs> Today we're going to start out with the, the basic ingredients you can see here. We're going to start off with some tomatillos, some yeah. onions, chile serranos, cilantro, and did I already say garlic? If not, then garlic. Yeah. And if it, those of you who don't know, tomatillos come in these little packages like this. Yeah. They look like tomatoes, but they're not. They're, they're actually not. berries. Yeah. You know what I was I didn't know they were berries. Yeah, well, whatever. For all intents and purposes, they're a little green tomato. Okay. So anyways, actually, we don't want to wash this one. So, it's really easy <laughs> to make. First, you grab your olla here, like this, and you just throw them in. After you've washed them, of course. The ratio, I don't, our family doesn't have a recipe. We kind of just wing it every single time, and it tastes different every single time. So, what I got to say to you is ratio. So, maybe the onions, probably six to one, tomatillos, and uh, the chiles is, that's up to you, doggies. Yeah. However much you want to use is up to you. Me, I like it spicy. What about you, Gustavo? I like it spicy too, man. None of this. Ya tu this. sabes! Ya tu sabes! Sabes que? Anyway, so let me go like this. And the final step is the garlic here. You add the cilantro at the end. So you're going to cook all that stuff mm -hmm. together, Luis? 
That's right, we're gonna cook it all together. And you have to see that through now. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Anyway, so. Ya tu sabes, Holmes. Ya tu sabes. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and boil this now. So we put it on the heat. We'll let it boil. Nice. So you're gonna to wanna to boil that for about um, 25, 35 minutes. When it starts boiling, go ahead and turn it down to nice, a little bit below medium. Good choice. All right, so we cool down the salsa verde. So now we're transferring it over to the Vita Mix, the blender, like this, as you can see. We don't want to throw the water in yet, so we don't want watery salsa. Don't forget to add some a little cilantro like this. I like to put it in at the end, it comes out greener. And we save the water. All right, Gustavo, we're gonna switch over to the blender. All right, hey Gustavo, did I ever tell you about how I got the Vitamix? No. I was walking down the street one day, right? And then this girl comes up, and she's like throwing all this shit out in the street, and I was like, what are you doing? And I was like, just throwing all this stuff, and I was like, uh, and I saw this Vitamix on the floor, right? And I was like, uh, you gonna throw that blender away? And she was off. I don't want that piece of crap 70s blender. Apparently she's like breaking up with a boyfriend and throwing all that shit. So I was like, oh, free blender for la casa. And then how much is that blender worth? Sure. This blender is, is expensive, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Go to Costco and sell on the AOC. Anyway, whatever. So we're gonna go ahead and start blending. And it's here at this point that I add a little bit of uh, celery salt. You wanna blend it, then you wanna turn it down and see how thick it is. Don't blend in all the water. Just take out the ingredients and put them separate. See, I separate the water because you don't want set. You don't want watery salsa, homie. Actually, this is perfect, just like this. So I'm not gonna add anything. Tú sabes. Yeah, tú sabes. Mira. Oh. oh. There you have it, homies. Perfect salsa verde. With the chips. Welcome back, Cholo. Today we're here back to make some salsa roca, man. Simon. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, whatever. But here's how it goes. It's real easy. Actually, salsa roca is my favorite one. It's like the most it's the most common one really. And if you mess this one up, then mm, you're not a real know. Mexican. Not a real Mexican, you're not a real Chicano, you're just yeah. I don't know what you are, but I don't want you. You're yeah. anywhere near. No, 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 no. They're like one of those like like wannabe Mexicans. They're like, oh yeah, I'm really Mexican, but I don't speak Spanish. No, you're not. No, you're not, because you don't even like hot, spicy foods. No, it's like so, I don't speak Spanish, but I can understand more than I can speak. Yeah. That means you don't know how to speak Spanish. And shut up and get out of here. Yeah, yeah. Go anyway, back, go back to whatever. Right, right, right. We can hate on him. <laughs> it's no big deal. Okay. Anyway, so here's here's how it goes. So. It's real easy. We start with some tomates, right? And we start, and most of this, the key ingredient, in my opinion, and the way that our family makes it anyway, is using chile de árbol, you see? It's the one with the little tails on it. Chile japonés kind of looks like this, but it's not. So anyway, so we just break them off, throw them in the pot. Yeah. Not that Japanese shit, Mexican shit. But I love Mexican shit. No, 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 it's chile de árbol. I don't know what Chile de árbol. Chile de árbol. Anyway. Chile de chino. Chile de chino. The chile de árbol. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> so how, here's how it goes, right? So you go ahead and throw them in. You get about three tomatoes. I had an onion. Ah, here it is. Throw, throw some onion in there. And we're going to boil all this together. And we want it really spicy, too. I don't want any of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want any spin the cow that's Yeah, there's none of that, none of that. Like, oh, I'm gonna have a big build a wall, have them pay for that exactly. shit. Exactly. Sasuke, you pay for that shit. Yeah, exactly. I want your friends to come over and be like, oh, this is funny. Yeah, yeah, get out of my house, cabrón. And seriously, I don't think so. This, this is how we roll. So anyways, here it is. It's ready to boil. You can add garlic if you want. It's up to you. No, no, add the, wait, do you add garlic or what? Do you usually add garlic? All right, so you know what, Sasuke? While he's getting the garlic, I'm just gonna be drinking this beer. Hit it, Gustavo, hit it! And you know what I'm saying? The secret ingredient, if you wanna bam it up, is spice, nah, nah, garlic. Nah, nah, not bam, we're not Amaro here. It's <laughs> sass! Oh, mira, toma! Oh. Sass! Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Okay, all right, so the garlic's in there now. And it's ready to go to boil. Boil, Holmes. Boil that shit. That's it. Give it 20, 30 minutes. And you're ready to rock and roll, homies. Yeah. Is that a cut? That's a cut. Okay. Now we're going back to the tomates. Oh, I forgot this section. Okay. See, don't forget the other secret ingredient, which is the bay leaf. Remember, take it out when it's done boiling. If you have a good blender, you can probably blend it up and no one would notice. Your, your fat Theo probably be like, Mmm, get Whatever, same shit. Anyway, that's the chonos. Let it boil and we'll be done in about, like I said, 20, 30 minutes. Yeah. Right. With the uh, salsa roca, we let it cool. We let it cool down, right? Yeah, le coule, Exactly, so now we're gonna put it into the Vita Mix. Don't forget to take out the bay leaf. Take out that bay leaf, home, don't be lazy. In Spanish, it's called laurel, by the way. Yeah, take out that laurel, home. So again, like I was saying, so reserve the water. If you don't want watery salsa, homies. Boom. Unlike salsa verde, you want you finish this one off with some oregano, Mexican oregano, mira. Pretend you're making some pozole, homies. Ah. Oh. And then celery salt. Where's that? Vita mix time. Yeah, hit that shit, homies. Yeah. Vita mix doesn't fuck around, man. No, 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 it doesn't. All right. Back again, Cholos. Today we're gonna make, or not today, but right now we're gonna make some bandera salsa, which is just like pico de gallo, but it has jalapenos in it. So you know what that means, Gustavo? I mean, you're gonna be shit fire, Cholo. It's better. So, anyways, starts off real easy. Starts off with some cebolla, right? Yeah, cut that shit, Holmes. <laughs> the huevos. The only one way I do shit, Gustavo, is size. Yeah, hey, so tell me how the special way you're cutting that onion. This is the way my mama showed me. That's right. One day she's all like, Luis, ah, <laughs> And I was like, all right, mom. And then like, and then you're using the white onions, right? Because they're like mild. This is actually a yellow onion. I was just kidding, man. So I ran out of I ran out of white onions, but you know what? It's the same thing. Yeah. Get to salads, home. Not to mention, you know what? These are cheaper at Smart and Final. So yes. whatever. <laughs> nice. All right. So you throw it in, like this. Doesn't need to be cut perfect because whatever, no one's gonna notice. Well, you might, and if you do, mm, kick them out of your house. Yeah. Be like, Salsuke, don't be talking shit about the way I make salsa, I said. Exactly. But this ain't no pace. So now we're going with the tomate. Oh, nice. Yeah, look at that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. These tomatoes are a little soft, but it's okay. As long as you stir it right away, it's not a big deal. Well, I, I need to refuel here. There's a few too. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. And remember, remember, Cholos, if you're not drinking while you're cooking, then you're watching TV, Sasuke. Yeah, where was I? Ah, that's right. My favorite part was though. Yeah. Yeah, with the jalapenos and shit. It's like my way to roll, man. Yeah, cut that shit. That's it. You can use other chiles, but you know, jalapeno, eh? It's not too spicy, but it's spicy enough, you know? Yeah. Oh, I mean, kind of buzz with that one. That's, that's, that's how we cook, man. You know what I'm saying? It's Saturday, so we're just barely pre gaming But later on, man, we're gonna meet up with some high nas. Yeah, that's right. And then we're gonna be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Eating salsa with those high nas. Yeah. With the cheeks. Girls like a guy that can cook, man. That's why I'm teaching Gustavo here. That's right. Because I was scared. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly that's what right. he means. That's right. Anyway, so last step here is some cilantro. Trick is to chop it up real fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cut that shit home. Damn! Damn! That one don't hurt him! That one don't hurt him! <laughs> I don't know what that is, but like. Alright. And that's it, homies. You can add uh, 
lemon or salt and pepper if you like, but for me, I just like it like this, because this is just topping for some tacos that we're going to show you later. Nice. You see? And a pico de chorro. Shh. Ya tu sabes. <laughs> Alright, Chorro, so that sums up the basic Mexican sauces that you need to know about. Okay. Starting with salsa verde, guacamole, salsa roca, and pito de gallo. <laughs> 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 hey, 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 no, no. Seriously, when it comes to food, we don't fuck around, man. No, we don't, is it? There's only one, two ways. The right way, and the fucking lazy ass, pinche gordo, yeah. who wants to go to McDonald's. Yeah. Like a slathers, tapatio, and everything. Yeah. Nothing against tapatio, but yeah, you want yeah. the real shit? Yeah. No se compara, homies. Hey, no. no se compara. That's right. Hey, and remember, si viene de aquí, it's better aquí. Don't forget, homies. Cheers, cabrones. Cuisine show love. I'm high every time I pay my rent. Cause life ain't easy when your money's spent. I told my babe we're staying home tonight, yeah. We're cooking love and that will make a gourmet chef so horny, yeah.